volunteering within the Southern Trust is well established. We have three volunteer coordinators covering the Craigavon and Banbridge, Armand and Gannon and Murray and more localities. All our roles are quality assured by our staff side representation to ensure there's no job substitution. Our volunteers are trained to high standard and carry out a vital role within the Trust. We have mealtime support, we have here to help, we have volunteer support. So that either be in an acute setting, which would be our hospital settings, or within our community settings. And we have over 350 volunteers within the Southern Health and Social Care Trust. I enjoy doing this. People are very stressed out when they come to the hospital. And if we can ease a wee bit of that stress away from them by bringing them to their appointments, I think that is a great help. Good morning, how are you? I'm having an appointment here. Are you having an appointment in the orthopedic clinic? Do you, have you ever used the chaos? No, no. You've not. I do it um, to be helpful to the community. I was retired for a number of years, struggling in the house to find something useful to do, and found that they were looking for volunteers in the hospital, which I was very happy to be part of. The volunteers have a very big impact here at Craig Alvin Hospital. I'm the volunteers' key worker, um, and they'll come to me with things that they have seen that we could provide a better service for the users. The last thing that we got sorted very successfully was the signing for gynaecology department. Yes, you can just use your fork. Would you like me to mash the potatoes or anything like that for you? Uh, yeah, please. No, that right. would be great. No. Yeah. When I first started this, you know, um, I had an interest in nursing um, and from I started it, I have really realised that I want to pursue the role or, you know, the path of going down to study nursing. You just feel it's a lovely way to spend a few hours a week, you know, thinking that maybe you made someone's day a wee bit nicer or you helped them. But it's good to see the other side, you know, sometimes you're out doing things in the world you don't realise there's an awful lot goes on with everybody, that everybody has wee battles or, and it sort of makes you appreciate an awful lot what you do in life. Um, but I love it, I really, really do, and it's beyond volunteering, it's something I just get a lot of self, it makes me very happy. Uh, just a wee bit of salt please. Time's gone by, the volunteer service, we didn't utilise it so much but we have found with the increased um, workload and pressures on the ward that the volunteers are an imperative role within our daily routine now. My name is Malcolm Stewart and I'm the non-emergency ambulance services manager with the Northern Ireland Ambulance Service and part of my role is all non-emergency ambulance transport and our voluntary car service falls under that. Well, I don't mind it cold if it's dry. Our voluntary car service brings in approximately 48% uh, of all non-emergency journeys that Northern Ireland Ambulance Service do. They, um, that equates to in the year save of 2014-2015 uh, to actually 98,000 journeys uh, that patients that came into hospital appointments uh, with our voluntary car service. Uh, work for the ambulance service voluntary cars, work from the Craigavon area and most of the patients come into Craigavon Hospital or Belfast City Hospital or Daisy Hill Hospital. I get satisfaction out of it because the people's glad to see me. It's nice work and do something where you get something back again from the people. It's not a commitment as in 40 hours a week. I do it five days a week but if I want a day off I just ask for a day off. It's a voluntary job and nobody's pressurising you to work every day. The drivers are able to bring patients to a hospital that actually maybe are not really eligible for full ambulance transport. They deal with patients that are immunosuppressant uh, with treatments that are making them feel unwell and afterwards and it's a comfortable environment. A lot of our drivers are survivors of some of the treatments that they bring other people into and they, it, it's an intangible benefit is the fact that they're talking to people that have been through uh, possibly what that patient's going through. And it's, it's more of a bespoke service for the patients that are going in.